Hi guys, welcome to the 10 minute yoga for posture routine. We'll begin in a standing position in Samastitihi at the tops of our mats. Bring your hands together at heart center, gently close your eyes, and anchor your weight down through all four edges of your feet. Then stand tall through the top of your head as if someone was pulling a string up from the crown of your head. With this height and engagement, release your hands down by your sides. Then without moving anything else, just reach your arms overhead, mountain pose. Grab onto your left wrist and dive over to the right. Take a big inhale. Then exhale, come back to center. Grab onto your right wrist, take a dive over to the left. Big breath in. As you breathe out, come back to center. Interlace your hands behind your lower back and then separate your feet about mat distance or wider. Big inhale to press your knuckles away, open up through your chest. Then as you exhale, bend your knees, bend at your hips and forward fold, come all the way down. Let your head hang heavy, knuckles up to the ceiling or even falling forward. And the generous bend in your knees will help release your lower back. Lower your hands down and feel free to add any other movement that might support you right now. Anything that feels good. Then toe heel your feet together to touch for crouch and curl. Squat down into a tiny little ball, tuck your chin, round your spine, and be mindful that you're not shrugging your shoulders. Let your breath travel up and down your spine. You can always modify this pose with a deep forward fold instead. Next is halfway lift. Slide your hands up your shins and press your heart forward. Even if you're really flexible here, just slide your hands up your shins for this routine. And then roll your shoulders open. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Big inhale. Exhale, forward fold with soft knees. On your next inhale, stand tall, reach your arms overhead for mountain pose. Then for a mini back bend, bring your hands together at heart center, lift your chest up to meet your thumbs and draw your gaze back. This is only a back bend in your upper back. Inhale back to mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, come all the way down. Remember to soften your knees. Next is a halfway lift. Slide your hands up your shins. Let your shoulders roll open. Then crouch and curl. Exhale as you squeeze everything out. Inhale to halfway lift. Find your flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Next is mountain pose. Inhale as you rise all the way up. Then mini back bend. Just lifting up through your heart. Shoulders roll back. Inhale back to mountain pose, forward fold. Halfway lift on your breath in, then crouch and curl as you breathe out. One last halfway lift, full inhale. Then exhale, plant your hands on the mat, step your feet back and find a high plank. So your shoulders are stacked over your wrists. Your whole body is strong and firm from your heels through the crown of your head, just like when you were standing tall. You can always modify with your knees on the mat if that makes you feel stronger today. Now maintain this plank as much as you can and slowly lower down to your belly. For low cobra, zip your legs and feet together and press the tops of your feet into the mat so your legs engage. With your hands light or just hovering, peel your chest up off the mat and deepen your breath so you feel a gentle bow. Three, two, one. 
release into a belly shavasana. One ear down, arms out long by your sides, let your feet fall open, complete relaxation. Then draw your chin back to center and interlace your hands behind your lower back. For a bound locus, peel your chest up off the mat, leading with your knuckles behind you. Gaze is just a few inches out in front of you. Deep breath. For three, two, one. Belly Shavasana. Opposite ear comes down to the mat. Observe the rise and fall of your back. Then draw your chin back to center, interlace your hands behind you for bound locus, but this time, peel your chest up and if you want to add on, lift your legs as well. Peeling everything up off the mat for three, two, one, release, belly shavasana, opposite ear comes down, arms fall open, completely relax. release any unnecessary tension. Extend your left arm out 90 degrees from your side. With your left ear down on the mat, place your right hand down underneath your right shoulder and roll your body onto your left side, opening up through your left chest and shoulder. You can plant your right foot anywhere behind you as a kickstand. Then slowly lower your hips back down to the mat, but keep your right knee bending open so it looks like tree pose on your belly. Press into your right hand to lift up just enough to thread your left arm all the way through underneath. Lying down on your left shoulder, reach your right arm up to the ceiling, take a big breath in. Then exhale to open up all the way into a big twist. With each exhale, soften into place. Gently curl your right arm back in, come back to a neutral position on your belly, then switching sides, take your right ear down to the mat, extend your right arm 90 degrees out from your side, place your left hand underneath your left shoulder, and then roll onto your right side, opening up through your right chest and right shoulder. And if it helps, plant your left foot anywhere behind you as a kickstand. Relax even your jaw, your eyebrows, in the corners of your eyes. Then lower your hips back down to the mat. Keep your left knee bending open like tree pose on your belly. Press into your left hand to thread your right arm through. Then inhale to reach your left arm up to the ceiling and open up into a big twist. Use your deep breath to massage your body into place. Curl your left arm back in. Come back to a neutral position on your belly and press up and back into a child's pose. Take a few deep breaths here to relax and reset. Thank you for joining me for today's posture yoga routine. If you enjoyed this, Try the 20 minute yoga for posture routine or the 30 minute yoga for posture practice. You can find these in the yoga for posture playlist. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.